What is up guys, Dan Bain here, bringing you some more Pokemon Showdown. I don't know if this is going to be a uh, continuous thing, you know, but it's whatever. So, uh, yeah, I still have the same team here, the uh, the team of friendship. And I did switch out the Conkledura like I said I would, and I put in a Hexorus, one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I still believe it's a good Pokemon, even though it's brought down to UU, but that's what tears are for, I guess. So, uh, we're going to start off the battle here. This is a stall fest, let me just warn you. <laughs> it's not a stall fest, it's just he can't do anything to me and he doesn't present me opportunities to do anything to him, basically. So he leads off with the Sable, as I was predicting the Will-O-Wisp, so I went into my Volcarona here to take it. But that's not the case, as he goes for the Taunt. And uh, that's uh, not ideal because the damage with uh, Fiery Dance does like nothing. And I'm still taunted, which means I can't set up. Uh, it's way too early anyway, so he goes into his tile thing, which is a good place because uh, he he just walls me pretty hard. And, you know, I do not want to take a Brave Bird, so I go into Gliscor, this freaking bastard who just takes hits like a champ. You're going to see him take so many hits and just never give up. So he's going to go for the U-turn now as... Uh, I believe I roost off the damage right away, and uh, he takes that as an opportunity to maybe set up a sticky web right there, which uh, makes it really hard for me later on to actually do anything to him. This was actually a huge halt to my team because of that sticky web. Uh, so uh, he takes an earthquake and, you know, switches out to his talent plane, which, uh, you know, is not a bad play, but it also presents him with, like, nothing else to do either. So now he goes for the flare bits, gouging damage, like, he just really can't do anything to me, you know? His team is not prepared for glide scores, which you know I thought is, you know, ice beams, yo. They're they're things. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drop a toxic on him, and uh, because I can't really hit him otherwise, you know, knockoff not gonna do much. So I figure I'd stall him out. So he goes for the U-turn, as uh, I believe I go for the roost this turn, getting my health back up. Uh, let's see here. Yes, that's the case. As he goes into that milk tank, so I go for the knockoff on this, getting rid of his leftovers. As he goes for the attract, which I thought was weird, you know. So I'm gonna get out of there, and uh, I see this as a setup opportunity, but then I forgot the sticky web was up. So there's that. So I believe I go for the bug buzz again on the uh, top. Uh, no, I go for the fiery dance to the crit. <laughs> really, I don't know if it matters, because, uh, you know, um, I get on out of there not risking the brave bird, even though I felt like he's gonna roost this turn. He's totally gonna roost. Um, so yeah, he's go I could go back into Gliscor as he goes for the U turn again. And yeah, I'm presenting him with zero opportunities here to do anything, but he, uh, you know, is effectively doing the same because I want to go into the Toad Kiss and get rid of the Sticky Web, but that uh, the opportunity is never coming up because he keeps going into his Tile Flame, and I need to wall that right away, otherwise my Pokemon aren't going to like that at all. So I'm going to Mega Venusaur, I mean, the Sticky Web is still up, so that's a problem, so uh... You know, I say in on him this time as he goes for the taunt, and I make a huge misplay here because I totally misclicked because Leech Seed is uh, right above the Mega button, so there's the Mega that turn. So he goes for the will o -Wisp, which isn't a huge deal as I go for the Giga Drain. I mean, I have ways to uh, heal myself up, and I'm a specially oriented uh, Mega Venusaur, so, uh, you know, the burn isn't hurting me that bad. So, now I'm just doing tons of damage to his... Uh, Sableye there, and uh, he's realizing it's kind of, you know, pointless. So he goes into his Galvantula there, and uh, yeah, it doesn't do much. I mean, it's enough to take him down to a uh, range where I can clean up. But uh, yeah, he's gonna go for the Bug Buzz, it's not gonna do that much as well. As I just go for the Giga Drain again, healing literally nothing. I mean, I'm back to the green zone, and then I'm back to the yellow, there you go. So now he goes back into his Talent Flame, and I'm like, yeah, see you later. So, uh, I still have, uh, zero opportunities to, uh, take out the sticky web. So we're still in this predicament. I don't know what turn we're on, but we're pretty deep in it. So, uh, he's gonna go for the Brave Bird again, and uh, as we know, it's just kind of pointless. So, uh, I believe I want to drop the Toxic on him. I don't know. He goes for the Roost. It's, uh, I miss Toxic. That's, you know, I deserve to miss a couple. So, uh, yeah, I mean... We're just in this terrible situation right now, so uh, I go for the Toxic again as he goes into the Sableye, which is not ideal. So now I see this as a... Uh, no, it's actually a terrible idea. I go into uh, Cole Kim there, and he goes into his Town Flame, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to stay on that. Never mind, JK, I'm out of there. 
As I go into Togekiss, you know, maybe I can uh, get lucky and uh, live one Brave Bird enough for a turn to uh, get the Bee Fog off. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So I do get the Bee Fog off, which is great. So now uh, uh, I do have more freedom to do what I want because now his Galvantula is dead and now it's back into the Gliscor we love so freaking much right now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is obviously going nowhere, so he goes for the Flare Blitz, and yeah, we've seen this, you know, time and time again as I drop a Toxic on him, and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, basically a huge waste of time. It's basically, you know, someone's gonna budge eventually, and, you know, but, like, I have the slight edge because I am forcing him into, uh, things he doesn't want to do, so... He goes into his Mawile, finally, I forgot he even had one, so he goes for the, <laughs> the Sucker Punch, and guys, guys, guys. Guys, Gliscor took a fucking huge power sucker punch. I mean, <laughs> what gives, right? So he goes into his character saying that, uh, you know, you're not gonna stop me, and I have Earthquake for your ma while. So now I go into the Haxorus here as it goes for the Waterfall, and I'm like, yo, I am gonna hit you with a, I don't know, an Earthquake. Okay, yeah, 25%, that's nothing. Yeah, so he drops the Toxic on my double if there, the Hexorus. And now we're just kind of in this uh, stall game again as he goes out into his, uh, that there cow thing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not hurting it at all. I need to get on out of there. So, uh, here I was hoping to maybe get the Heal Bell off of the Mega Venusaur. As he goes for his own Heal Bell and I'm like, maybe I can survive one whatever it wants to do. But that's not the case. As he takes me out with a Body Slam. So we're down 5-5. Five, five. And we're, you know, making zero, zero headway here. So well, I go for the Outrage, which wasn't the best idea. Because uh, he has the Mawile there, and uh, he's going to go into it now. Which uh, I had to basically get really lucky here that the Outrage was going to end this turn. Which it does for me, fortunately. So now I have to get on out of there. And go into the Volcarona here, which, um, I mean, it was iffy. So he goes for the sucker punch, and I'm like, no, no, uh, not, not, not so fast there. As I just go for the roost, and uh, he goes back into the quagsire. As I quiver dance once, which, uh, yeah, you know, what are you gonna do, right? I mean, I could, there were, uh, I was still trying to bait up the sucker punches, so that's still good. As the, I believe the quiver dance was enough to take, uh, for me to take out the quagsire with the bug buzz. So here comes the. Also lovable uh, talent flame again as he goes for the ruse, and you know, I really wanted to, I really wanted to stay in and just fucking hit like whatever and destroy the talent flame space, but no, that was it was too risky of a play. You know, we're both still in this, so I go for the toxic as he makes a good play and goes into the uh, his uh, mega mile wild, but it wasn't ideal because see the intimidate drop really affected me in terms of hitting the mile wild effectively. But now that he was mega up, he lost the Intimidate, so now I was able to uh, effectively clean it out. And now I basically have this in the bag, as Gliscor is just gonna do just complete work right here. So he's gonna go for the move drink, I believe, yeah, as the Earthquake doesn't take it out. And I'm like, you know, fuck this, I'm gonna drop Toxic on you as he goes for the Attract, which, you know, yeah. So uh, I go into the Volcaronag. As he goes for the heal bell, getting rid of the toxic on him, and maybe say why well, I don't know. As I go for one corporate dance, which uh, yeah, it wasn't ideal. I mean, he goes for the body slam against the paralyzed, which sucks. But what are you gonna do? So he goes for the attract. I'm like, nah, bugs don't fall in love with callus. So there you go, get the fuck out of here, melting. As he goes into Sableye now, and um, he's gonna recover stall. Uh, you know, hoping for the para. Uh, yeah, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I got a crit and a special defense drop, so there's that. As he goes uh, for the recover again, and I believe I'm able to just simply take him out this turn with the fiery dance. And, uh, <coughs> it's pretty much going to be the game there. Uh, Tile Flame comes in, I'm like, yeah, let's just go to the freaking star of this fucking game, the fucking Glass score. Uh, it's ba he basically could see that when he said in the chat, GG already as, uh, you know, he's just trying to hurt me, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. You, you do you, buddy. You, you just, you just pretend that you do damage. You know, you're a brave, powerful bird, and you can do things. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah, that's not quite the case. So, uh, there's that. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be the uh, I'm gonna stall him out basically. I mean, 
Uh, you guys can see I had no real safe switchings for his team. I mean, I had to wait <laughs> quite a bit before I like I wanted to like get Greninja and stuff in there, but no, it wasn't the case. I had to have Ryan's Pokemon take the hard hits. So yeah, yeah. There's that. There is that, and that is the battle, folks. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I might. I mean, it's looking 50-50. You know, if I uh, do ladder up with this team, I mean, Pokemon not like that fun, well, you know, competitively, it's so stressful. But, I do, uh, I am going to bring some more Battle Block, Dieta, because that game is fun. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.